Welcome to PowerballOne.com. Here's our little LS53 that we got as a complete motor from Cream's Auto Dismantling in Santa Rosa, California. We've got all the stuff stripped off that we're not going to be using for what we're doing here. And it was a pile of stuff. We've got all the stuff that we're going to be putting on it. We've got MSD, we've got Holly, we've got Quick Fuel, we've got Dually, we've got hardened marine stuff. We'll go over all these little individual parts that'll take to make this an actual running engine and get it into a jet boat. Here's a little LS ignition controller. This is basically like an ECM. All this is going to do is really run the coils so the engine will fire and it'll adjust the timing and such. This is the little wiring harness that goes with it, plugs into your cam sensor and your crank sensor, and it'll also plug into the coils. We're going to reuse those same wiring harness from the original engine for the coils. We've got a set of plug wires here, MSD stuff really good quality. They'll run from the coils into our plugs. We've got a coil set here. It's an eight pack of coils, which will be a nice upgrade from MSD over the factory stuff. We've got a Holly dual plane intake here. It's a 300, 130. Should work really well in this application. We're gonna run a 650 quick fuel carburetor. This is a great little carburetor for marine application. There's electric choke on it. We got a dually LS oil pan. It's got a pressure relief in it comes with a nice little pickup with it as well. From Hardin Marine, we've got the water inlet system, runs a thermostat in it, so we'll be able to control some temperature with it. With a carburetor application, it's not quite as critical as when you're running an EFI application. We've got a new starter here. This is an IMI LS starter. It should be perfect for what we're doing. We've got the new oil filter assembly that'll mount off the back of the cylinder head. This is also from Hardin Marine. Here's the drive shaft. We're going to be running a 1310 style drive shaft. We've also got a PTO pickup from Hardin Marine that'll uh, mount onto the back of the crankshaft for the LS. We've got a little wiring harness here, which is basically it's a Hardin Marine's jet boat harness that I've modified so that it'll be able to accept the LS ignition system with it. Uh, we've got an oil pressure sender, and then we've got our auto meter adapters will allow us to adapt the gauge ports over on the LS engine to the senders we're going to be using for this type of build. Here's all the parts that didn't fit up on the table. We've got a gorgeous set of lightning headers. They'll be a great for this application. We've got a hard marine rail kit designed for jet boats. Um, it comes with the rails, front plates, rear plate, mount feet, bolt kit, and then we also have from lightning a flywheel cover or flex plate cover that we'll use for this and it'll also we'll have a little driveline guard that'll come off the back of it. Now I'm going to go get the engine painted and then we'll get started putting these parts on it. 